going on, all you movie lover badasses out there? Fat Samurai Guy is here, and I'm out vlogging and gonna do some talking movies. That's right. Another talking movies vid. That's right. Getting ready to get in here and get my little workout on. Today's leg day. Yay. Woo. I'm so excited for leg day. <laughs> hey. Got to work on them, man. Otherwise, I'm going to have some sticks. You know what I'm saying? Stick legs, you know? <laughs> Can't have stick legs. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, while I'm out here chilling, as always, waiting for the sexy sumo to show up, my workout partner, so we can get this going, do a little vlogging, talking movies. And today, I want to talk to you guys about Dread. That's right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start back in 1995. A film came out uh, by the name of Judge Dredd starring uh, Sylvester Stallone, Max von Sydow, Armand Asante, and uh, many more, many more. And I didn't know anything about Judge Dredd. I didn't even know it was a comic book uh, character based off of a comic book character over in Europe. It came out way back in the day. I think it was, uh, I'm not positive, but it was either Late 60s, early 70s, but it was definitely old school. In the 2000 AD, popular sci-fi and pulp magazine that was released over there, uh, Judge Dredd was created and became a big phenomenon and became popular and then finally got its movie in 1995. Now, when I went to go see it, because the only reason I went to go see it because I'm a big Sylvester Stallone fan. And when I went to go see it, as soon as the credits come up, that's when you see all these different comic book panels and all that. And even the title itself had the exact same uh, uh, comic book font uh, that's, you know, Judge Dredd comic book font that's on the comic books. And I was just like, oh, shit, this is a comic book movie. I didn't even know anything about that. So I watched the movie and I was entertained. I didn't, I didn't feel that it was great. The trailer for Judge Dredd. Find the trailer for Judge Dredd and watch it and tell me that it doesn't look like a good movie. <laughs> that trailer is badass. The epic score, the music that's in that trailer that's been reused so many times for other trailers. That score was made just for that trailer, <laughs> just for Judge Dredd. And it's like, it's like 30 seconds and it's awesome. It's epic. I mean, the trailer still looks good. Uh, but the movie, I was let's just put it this way: I was entertained, but I didn't. I wasn't blown away. I was kind of disappointed and let down with the third act because they kind of set up uh, these clones of Judge Dredd, our Monar Sante, our villain, our beautifully, wonderfully over the top villain. <laughs> no, <laughs> God, he's so over the top. It's just it's insane. Uh, but he creates these clones of Judge Dredd. And you think you're going to have this big throwdown fight with Dread versus all versus his clones at the end, and the movie just kind of kind of falls apart. Uh, but Dread is just this badass. Imagine the Punisher with a badge. Imagine if somebody just went up to Frank Castle and said, "Here, you're a police officer now, but you're still the Punisher. You still do what you want." <laughs> because in the future, in this big post-apocalyptic future, the shit has gone so bad that. You know, they're the judge, jury, and executioner. They, they decide right on the spot, okay, you're going to die, or they'll take you to, or they'll, you know, lock you up. So, it's crazy. So, you got, it's not just Judge Dredd. It's all different types of judges. You had Judge Hershey, uh, played by the wonderfully underrated, beautiful, beautifully underrated actress. Nobody talks about how good-looking Diane Lane is, but... Uh, Obviously, she's older now, but I mean, man, back in the day, she's really good looking, but nobody mentions that. Anyway, I'm getting off track. Sorry. So she played uh, Judge Hershey in the movie, and the movie, it's it's like a, it's weird. Like the special effects, some of it was okay. Some of the computer effects were okay, but it, uh, some of it was really painful. A lot of the green screen in the back was just not up to par, and it just did not look, it did not look right at all. Uh, luckily, though, there's some really cool practical effects in the film as well. Uh, the robot in that film that they, they use is still, it still looks good today. That practical effect uh, robot that's in that movie still looks really good. You know, it, it doesn't really move that well, but I mean, it looks badass. <laughs> it looks awesome. So, uh, the, the main plot of the film is Judge Dredd, you know, the man, the myth, the legend gets framed for murder. For killing one of his superiors so he ends up getting sent to prison with uh, comedic sidekick Rob Schneider 
Um, <laughs> and the bad guys shoot the plane down, and then he, you know, fights the bad guys, and he comes back to Mega City, he teams up with Judge Hershey, and they go back and do the damn thing, and get revenge on Amar Asante, blah, 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 blah. That turns out to be uh, Judge Dredd's uh, twin brother, or whatever. So... A lot of cheese. We got a lot of cheese going on here. <laughs> but it was weird. It's like the special effects were just, it was odd. Like, it was like better than, like the futuristic city and the cars. It was like better than uh, Back to the Future 2, but not as good as Fifth Element. It was like right in the middle there. <laughs> but it's, you know, it's sad because I ended up liking the movie. I think I bought it on VHS. I'm not positive. But uh, obviously I bought it on DVD. And believe it or not, I actually bought it on Blu-ray. <laughs> it just, it can't, it's, it's bad. The movie is not great. And one of the worst things of all about that film is, I mean, you get a lot of action, you get a lot of explosions and stuff. But the worst thing of all is, you know, Stallone took his helmet off. And everybody knows in the comic book, Dread does not show his face. And, you know, you're going to pay millions of dollars for your star. You're going to want to show his face. So that was kind of a letdown. I mean, the best part of the film, really, is the beginning of the movie. The beginning of the movie where he shows up with his lawgiver and gives it orders and talks into the gun. And the gun obeys him and does all this cool shit to take all the bad guys. And it wasn't like an amazing sequence, but it was still entertaining. And he had his helmet on. It was a little exciting. It really wasn't that bad. But then after that, he takes his helmet off. Like literally, after the opening action sequence, he takes his helmet off. <laughs> and then that, oh, that's it. So that was disappointing. But anyway, at the time, I didn't mind it. Like I said, at, at the time, I didn't mind it because I didn't really know that much about the character. But it became a guilty pleasure for me. I mean, it's, ugh. I don't love the movie. But I still find it amusing and entertaining. Now, many, 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 many years later, uh, Dread or Dread 3D was released in 2012, starring Carl Urban as Judge Dread now. And Lena Headey from uh, Game of Thrones fame plays the villain Mama. And this was totally different take. And before I get into it a little bit, I have to be honest. The trailer for Dread sucked. The trailer for Dread 3D sucked. When I first heard about there's going to be a new Judge Dread movie, I was like stunned. I was like, are you serious? They're doing another movie? Oh my God, after all these years? And I saw Carl Urban in the uniform, and I was like, okay, that doesn't look that bad. And then the trailer came out, and it, I, oh, it looked like shit, guys. Like, it was bad. It was, like, really bad. And I was just like, oh. But, you know. I've gained love for the character over the years since the 1995 film, and I read some of the comic books that I was just like, you know what, fuck it. Let me go go see this movie. So I went with Lady Fat Blood and the Cranky Critic. We went out there. We actually went down to Universal City Walk, and we saw it in the theater over there in 3D because it's all 3D. I'm not a huge fan of 3D, but for some reason, the 3D worked uh, in this movie. It was very immersive. It actually was pretty cool. So, you know, yay, thumbs up for that. <clears throat> but when I saw the movie, I was really blown away of how dark and gritty and just fucking amazingly violent <laughs> a Dread was, Dread 3D. Like, I was not expecting this at all. I was expecting cheese. Like, really, really painful, horrible, like, oh man, this should have been some straight-to-video movie. And, I mean, when you look at the film, it doesn't look like a big budget film. It is a very small, modest budget. Unfortunately, a lot of the, a lot of the budget went to the 3D conversion. But it still was a really low budget film. It was a very modest budget. So, But it was just a really good movie. It was a great, action-packed, badass movie. And it just felt like an 80s film. It, Dread 3D feels like a straight 80s throwback movie, even down to the synthesized soundtrack. Really, really, really good underrated soundtrack score for Dread 3D. Make sure you guys go out and check that out. Plus the violence. It was just like, oh yeah, we're in the 80s now, man. We're, <laughs> we're not fucking around here. We're not messing around. This rookie judge in training 
Uh, her name was Judge Anderson in the film, and she kind of had psychic abilities, and she could read people's minds and kind of control them a little bit, kind of fuck with them just a little bit. And so her first day out on the field, Dredd goes with her, kind of showing her the ropes and whatnot, and they get a little routine call, and they end up reporting to the building that there's a problem, that there's been a murder. And then that's where all shit hits the fan. As soon as they arrive at that building, Mama, she's the boss in that building. There's nothing but different levels and tons and tons of gangs that basically follow what Mama says. And basically, they shut down the building. <laughs> There's no communication to the outside. And Judge Dredd and Judge Anderson uh, can't escape. So it's just them. They're outnumbered. And it's just guns a blazing. They fuck some shit up. It's, it's a really, really, really good movie. And I really ended up liking the Judge Anderson character by the end of the film because she was really having a lot of issues and problems making a lot of rookie mistakes and then she man she went through some shit in that movie and then by the end of the movie she's like fuck it everyone's fucking gonna die <laughs> Everyone's dying, man. But yeah, the special effects, the 3D effects of the slow-mo drug that all the bad guys were taking, that Mama was selling. You know, there, it was some really, really cool 3D effects. And the action was very tactical and very well done. But my favorite part of the movie, <laughs> favorite part of the movie is just one of the most badass moments ever, was <laughs> they bring all these huge, big-ass Gatling, Gatling guns, right? And they're just blast in the whole level the whole level that dread is on they're just it's just leveling everything like shredding the entire level <laughs> but before all that dread was fighting some of the bad guys so he's running from the gunfire and fighting bad guys and whatnot and after they level the whole area <laughs> It's all quiet. There's nothing but smoke. And then they're, they're just, they they think he's dead. They're like, oh, well, they got to be dead after that. They're just all standing there, and then they're watching, and then you see a shadowy figure come out. And all of a sudden, Dread comes out of nowhere and just tosses one of the bad guys from all, like just over the balcony all the way down to his death. And then just, oh, oh, I'm done. I'm going to walk back into the shadows. It was great. It was brilliant. The audience was laughing, having a good time. We even had a few cheers in the theater with that. But yeah, it was damn hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, that was awesome. That was badass. I was like, that was nice. Very nice, very nice. But I can see a lot of people being turned away from the film because of its low budget look. Uh, believe it or not, there's actually a lot of people that are very nostalgic to the Sylvester Stallone 1995 version. And when they saw this dark, uh, not really a lot of color, uh, violent, uh, gritty version that wasn't really fun, they kind of didn't really like it. And a lot of people think it's a little cheesy, believe it or not. I mean, they, they don't think the Stallone one's cheesy, but they think this one's a little cheesy. But, you know, not a lot of people liked it, but overall, overall in comparison, a lot of the Judge Dredd comic book fans were very pleased, uh, including myself. As much as the guilty pleasure, you know, I have for the old one, Dread 3D is a way better movie. <laughs> and props to Carl Urban for keeping the helmet on the entire film, staying true to the character, and never once showing his face. I mean, that takes that takes dedication. If you're a star of a movie and you cover your face the whole movie, I mean, that's, that's dedication. Uh, you know, a lot of stars wouldn't do that. But yeah, overall, it was a fun 80s throwback ride. Another thing that kind of hurt Dread a little bit was um, The Raid unfortunately came out the exact same year as dread and the premise two totally different types of movies both have different types of action and fight choreography both are violent um but the you know different plots and whatnot but the the setup of the film was basically exactly the same where our good guys arrive in a building or every level <laughs> and our main boss is in the building and they shut the building down they can't get out and a lot of people that saw the raid first <laughs> unfortunately were like man dread 3d copied but nobody copied each other i did a little bit of research on that it was just one of those coincidences but nobody copied each other but um yeah that was another thing where people unfortunately because <laughs> the raid redemptions is fucking awesome it is one of the greatest action films ever made so that came out the same damn year but anyway I love both movies. I love both. But anyway, unfortunately, Dread 3D bombed probably worse than Judge Dread. 
I wouldn't be surprised the 1995 Judge Dredd. The reason that it bombed was because of the damn 3D. This movie only was released in 3D theaters. Hello? <laughs> Not everybody goes to 3D, guys. And that was a huge, huge mistake. Whoever made that decision. So, number one, you got a horrible piece of shit trailer. The movie trailer is shit. And then you only release it to select theaters? Only the, the, that's in 3D? That's, that's not too bright, guys. So, that was one of the main reasons why Dread 3D did not do well. And that's, that's really unfortunate. <laughs> Because the movie deserves uh, more attention. Now, luckily, we have some new news that I'm about to mention, but nothing double confirmed yet. But one of the reasons why I wanted to vlog on Dread and talk about the first two films and my connection to them is that I am hearing uh, that there there's rumors of people go approaching Carl Urban. I know a lot of fans, uh, because there's been a cult following for Dread 3D now, there's a lot of fans for it now. I mean, the movie even got an, an award, like, I think second place in award for, like, uh, most underrated movie ever, <laughs> or, or of the year or whatnot. <laughs> I would have to agree that. But, yeah, it's got a cult following. There's a lot of fans that really love Carl Urban's performance, and they love Dread 3D for what it is, for what, it, what they try to do with its modest budget. But uh, the newest news that I've been hearing is that from different sources... Uh, friends at work, and I did a little research myself, is that there are talks of, I mean, we're never going to get a sequel to Dread. The movie bombed and tanked so badly, there will never be a, a, a you know, a green light for a sequel, unfortunately. But uh, the newest news is that there might be a series called Mega City 1, or Judge Dread Mega City 1. The idea has been floating around, and the fact that they actually approached Carl Urban to see if he's interested and reprising his role is good news because I know a while back there was rumors of a TV show spinning around but no one approached Carl Urban but now they're approaching him just talking to him about it like I said there's nothing double confirmed right now uh, but the whole idea is that it'll take place in Mega City 1 we'll get to meet a whole bunch of other judges and go on adventures with them in Mega City 1 and of course Judge Dredd will be there as well so it's, it'll be it'll be probably I'm assuming a police show that's violent and fucked up <laughs> in this post-apocalyptic future <laughs> which is what Dredd should be a lot of people want uh, the color and the, a little bit more craziness from the comics to return in this series. The fans really enjoyed uh, Dread 3D for what it was, but they want a lot of bit more, because the comic book's insane. <laughs> so they want a little bit more of the craziness, a little bit more out there moments, and, and a lot more color come back to this new series. Hopefully it will be greenlit. I will lose my damn mind uh, if this is greenlit and we get a pretty cool series, a season on Netflix or whatnot. Or, you know, who, who knows where? You know, and then Carl Urban returns as Dread would be would be awesome. That would be amazing. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the 1995 Judge Dread movie. Let me know what you guys think about Dread 3D in 2012, and let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this new TV series idea. Should this definitely be green lit? And let's go forward and let's do this. Or Judge Dredd always sucked and it will always be a failure. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, still love that Dread 3D movie, man. If you haven't seen it, go out and see it. Just don't watch the trailer. Watch the 1995 Judge Dredd trailer, though. <laughs> it's still epic. All right, guys, I'd like to thank all you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.